So let's take a look at the rule and the interpretation for blocking below the waist in the free blocking zone. The top part of this document contains the rule. Blocking below the waist is permitted in the, in the free blocking zone when all players involved in the blocking are on the line of scrimmage and in the zone at the snap. The contact, the block below the waist, is in the zone and the ball has not left the zone. So now we have the rule interpretation from CIF rules interpreter Steve Coover. This interpretation deals with a situation where the ball is being delivered to the quarterback outside of the free blocking zone and therefore leaves the zone very quickly. While in a shotgun or pistol formation, in other words the quarterback is outside of the three yard free blocking zone, an offensive lineman may legally block below the waist if the offensive player who is lined up in the free blocking zone is one in a three or four point stance and the contact is immediate with a defensive opponent who is lined up also in the free blocking zone on the line and head up over the offensive lineman. It will be an illegal block below the waist if the offensive lineman is in a two point stance or if there is hesitation, or if the block is not against a head-up defender, as the ball will be considered to have left the zone prior to the contact below the waist. Head-up is defined as having both shoulders within the frame of the opponent's body. Now you may remember this video from last year, an instructional video on the free blocking zone we put out then and this block was considered legal last year. It is no longer legal. Why? Because the defender being blocked is not within the frame of the shoulders of the blocker. Let's take a look at it. Now those lines uh, just are there to indicate who can get this block. The back judge is looking right at it and of course the um, the flank on that side, this is one of his keys, so he should be get, able to get this block as well. And as I said, the rules have been modified, the interpretation has been modified this year to, to include the fact that the defender being blocked has to be within the frame of the shoulders of the offensive blocker. This first example of an illegal uh, low block uh, comes from the left tackle and uh, notice that the offense is in a shotgun formation. Can let this run and then we'll bring it back and run it in slow motion. Watch the left tackle. Okay, let's bring that back. Okay. So we're going to run it in slow motion. Now he does go into a three-point stance. So he has satisfied the first requirement for a, a low block in the free blocking zone. And uh, the player he's going to block is in the free blocking zone, number 37 there. Unfortunately, they're not head up. Watch the action. And I think you can make a strong argument that this is not immediate either. He raises up and then goes down. Ball is clearly out of the zone. The quarterback has it in his hands and he's initiating that block. That is an illegal low block. Before we take a look at this play from another angle, let's talk about whose responsibility uh, for this particular foul, you know, who's responsible on the crew for it. Um, the referee in this particular formation, he's on the right-hand side of the quarterback, so he's looking through the quarterback at the tackle. And, of course, the flank official on that, on that side, in this case the line judge, has that lineman as one of his keys. Remember, flanks, our progression is snap. We're watching the snap. Then we look at the tackle to get a read on what type of play it is, and we're also looking at him to see if he's going to be fouled. So both of those officials could have gotten this uh, foul. It's very difficult when, as you can see in this picture, the um, 
line judge's other key is being pressed here at the line and the referee has to keep an eye on other things other than the tackle so you know it this is an easy one to miss but we've got to get it let's take a look at it again from the end zone so we can see the the blocker right here watch his actions okay below the waist across the line of scrimmage not directly head up not not on the player directly head up from him that definitely should have been a foul this next play a uh, very similar circumstance we have the quarterback in shotgun formation keep your eye on the left side of the line I think uh, not only do we have an illegal low block we have a chop block as well I think we're gonna get a better look at that from the uh, next angle let's run it in slow motion Uh, it's difficult to see but you, uh, the actual block, but you can see the aftermath of it. Let's take a look at it again. See the dive across, contact below the waist. Let's take a look at it from the end zone. Now, you can see that the uh, the defender is engaged high and the uh, the tackle is hitting him low this is a chop block and uh, even if you miss the chop block he is not going up again he's not blowing blocking low against the player who is straight across from him so we should have a flag for one of these fouls and you can see the you can see the action is dangerous watch see his leg get pinned that could be a knee injury we need to get this this next play we're again going to see another illegal low block by that left tackle we're also going to see an attempted uh, illegal low block by the center let's take a look at this it's difficult again to see from this angle but we're going to have a better view of it uh, from the end zone Watch the left tackle. Okay, it looks like it might be a chop block from there uh, because he's engaged with the guard, but uh, he it actually isn't. Um, we'll see that from the uh, end zone, but it's definitely a low block and it's definitely a, a, a cross. It's diagonal rather than straight up. Let's take a look at it from the end zone. Now watch the center. Um, we'll talk a little bit about this. He misses. He's attempting to block, but he just whiffs. And so, uh, had that been the only action that was potentially illegal, we'd want to talk to that center and tell him, "Hey, that's illegal. You know, don't want to see it again." But watch the uh, watch the left tackle right there. That is illegal that's not a chop block um, that's the contact really more initiated by the by the defensive player it doesn't matter guys this is a 15 yard penalty either way and again we've got to get it so I don't want to leave you guys with the impression that all low blocks all cross blocks uh, are illegal here's an example of what I believe is a is a legal play now this is not our association I think this is out of state I got this off of YouTube but watch it closely watch the uh, guard the right guard pull ball stays in the zone and there is the low block right there okay let's watch it again low block you can see the official is throwing a flag I don't want to judge his flag because I did not know what his state association's rules are, but for our purposes, this would be a legal low block in the free blocking zone. 